Hello from Malmo. Today we're going to Copenhagen. It is raining today, which is very unfortunate, but we're going to uh, wear our rain jackets and brave the weather. Let's go to the train station. So we just bought our train ticket to Copenhagen and in our 30 minutes before our train leaves we're going to see what options we have for lunch. I think this is the winner. Which one is the one in the picture? The wrap. Um, is, the, is the shrimp pretty good? <laughs> oh, <you know. laughs> uh, can I get the green curtain salad? Welcome to Copenhagen! Our plan today is to visit the top attractions in Copenhagen because we only have the rest of today to see as many things as we can see in the city. So, come along! Our first stop is at Agnet and the Merman. Agneta, I'm actually not sure how to pronounce it, but it's been referred to as the least known work of art in Copenhagen. It's underwater at the Hojbro Bridge, and it's just, uh, just a merman and some of his people. I don't really know anything about it, but an interesting art sculpture at least. Look, Elena, a horse. I've never seen a statue like that before. <laughs> We now arrived at our second stop of the day, which is the Christian Borg Palace, which houses the Supreme Court in Prime Minister. There's a special palace grounds area inside, but I don't know if we can actually get in to see it or not. The door's open though, so maybe. We'll find out. This is our substitute for not going into the palace, is looking at the shop. I think it's supposed to go more like Ow. that. I don't think that's right. Copenhagen being a fashion haven, Elena bought a shirt from H&M. I can't believe I just bought a piece of clothing. Haven't done that in a while. It was only five dollars though, so don't worry about our budget. Our budget is fine. H&M um, does not count as our third stop, but we're now at our third stop, which is the Lego store. Legos were invented in Denmark, which we didn't know until we got here. So this is a official, official Danish stop, the Lego store. The next activity at the Lego store is to build a fun Lego structure. Yay. Well, I started on my structure and then I realized how difficult it's going to be to take these apart. I can't even get this one off. Hot in there. So many people, it's so crowded. Everyone's trying to get their Legos. Mini stop number two is Rituals, which again is what our soap in our hotel is. They gave us free tea, and the hand sanitizer is the best smelling hand sanitizer in Denmark. Get your hands wet. Go blue. Is that a little or a lot? Nice. I'm scrubbing off all the badness off my hands. <laughs> is this supposed to be soap or is it supposed to be lotion? I have no idea. Mm, feel how good. So smell, soft. Smell too. Mmm. That's nice. <laughs> 
Okay, no more mini stops. We only have four hours left and we've wasted so much time in stores. <laughs> we are not gonna get to 15 to 20 places. Okay, but we just haven't, you know, gone shopping in a while. It's not like we're buying anything, but it's fun to go shop around. Yeah, a little bit. Look, look, that's my camera. Ow. Look. You both mean how to bag. That's mine. You're looking at your brother, buddy. Stop <laughs> number three is Church of Our Lady Cathedral. Our next stop is a paid entrance, but we're actually going in. The way up is a 7.5 turn helical staircase. It's not even stairs. It's just a ramp to get all the way up. One of the most unique ways I've seen a tower be constructed. We have a minute and 30 seconds to get all the way up. This is also a great place to people watch because they have benches lining around the entire thing and I already see people people watching us take videos of ourselves. <laughs> There's a little secret path along one of the things and it has a little glass bottom thing. You can't really tell how far down it is but it's all the way down. Definitely worth the eight dollars to go up. Yeah, it's really cool. pretty cheap. Okay, stop number five is Strogit. It's like a famous shopping street. We actually walked down it earlier, but we didn't realize that we were on the street. So this is our fifth stop. This is stop number six. Uh, it's called Nye Haven. It's a colorful building area. It's a little street and now it has lots of food on it. There's also a lot of old ships and a waterway. It's a really nice place. We don't have time unfortunately to stop and eat at the restaurants, but we can smell them and they smell super good. So we're indulging in the nose and not the mouth. Did you know, Copenhagen is also the world's happiest city, according to a lot of lists. Some lists place it in like somewhere in the top five, but a lot of places say it, it is the happiest. It has this word called Huga, Huga, is that how you say it? H-Y-G-G-E, and it's their thing of like community life, everybody together, all happy and everything good. <laughs> that was a, the worst description I could have given, but you, I'll, put, I'll put a definition right here and right right here and you can see it we just made it to Amalienborg which is our seventh stop and it is home to the Danish royal family So there are four different palaces that make a circle around. They all look identical. And four different royal families live in them. And there are guards standing at each post guarding. They all live so close next to each other in these nice little palaces. It's like the suburbs for the royal families. You think they invite each other over for like bonfires and dinners and afternoon tea? Hey, meet me at the equestrian statue to have a bonfire tonight. S'mores included! And right around the corner is Frederick Church. It's called the Marble Church because of its architecture, and it's just really pretty and beautiful. We could see it up from the lookout as well. 
the architecture style of this church is Rococo architecture, and I just think that's really fun to say. Rococo. Rococo. <laughs> Copenhagen party bus. I saw there's a lot that are around the streets, just like Nashville, and one of them, everyone in the party bus was wearing cowboy hats. Are they trying to copy us or what? Stop number nine is the Opera House. It's a really cool, modern looking building, and we're not actually going over to it, but we're seeing it from across the water, which is in some ways cooler. I don't know why Opera Houses are still so popular. It seems like something of the past, but cities continue to have these super modern buildings for their Opera Houses. Stop number 10 is The Little Mermaid. We haven't mentioned it yet, but Hans Christian Andersen, which is like one of the most famous authors ever, he wrote The Ugly Duckling and The Little Mermaid and a bunch of other things. He is from Denmark. He actually was living in Copenhagen, I think, for a while. And so the reason that this statue is so popular is because he wrote it and it has the same name as his story. It reminds me of the little peeing boy mannequin piece in Brussels because there's about a million people gathered around this little random old looking statue and all taking pictures of it like it's the Pope or something. This isn't the only mermaid statue. This is stop number 12 and it's also our final stop. This is the genetically modified Little Mermaid. <laughs> it's much less crowded which is pretty nice but it's also surrounded by these other pretty scary statues so that's Sad. The Little Mermaid statue, the original one, was supposed to be like the original Little Mermaid statue. And this one is the city's version of a modernized Little Mermaid. Hope you enjoyed our short little city tour of Copenhagen. We obviously didn't get to see everything in Copenhagen because we only had a short period of time here, but we hope you enjoyed little bit that we got to show you. It's a sunset rainbow! Ah. Uh. Prettiest thing you ever did see! <laughs>